Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be setting up uh, my journal, my daily writing journal, monthly pages for the month of June. But before the setup, I would like to quickly show you uh, the happenings of the month of May and how my uh, pages turned out. I won't really be talking through um, most of the setup portion because uh, if you could tell from my voice, I'm still a bit under the weather. So anyway, we'll start with this one. This is the previous um, daily writing journal. If you haven't seen my uh, previous setups, I will link the playlist and then I transferred to this uh, grid uh, spiral bound uh, notebook. This house is my monthly, but since there are still pages here left in this one, so I decided to just continue all of the writing in this notebook. Um, the reason why I transferred uh, to the other notebook is because uh, this notebook is already like uh, broken since the beginning. So I will flip through the month of May, if I could recall where <laughs> it started. I think it's this one. So this is my supposed like divider for the month of May. And all of these are just writing. Most of these pages are actually um, my like reactions to anime that I've watched for the uh, Annie Bingo challenge that I had for the month of May, um, like my thoughts. Sometimes I do dream journaling here. I haven't been consistent with uh, daily writing in this journal because um, I wasn't feeling all that good throughout the month. And there are a lot of like, um, what do you call that, entries here that are like sporadic. Like for this one, I even haven't finished writing here, but I will like continue to write that later after filming this. Today is May 29th, and this is like from the 27th, the entry from the 27th. I've been sticking various um, sticker flakes. This is from a past challenge of mine wherein I try to use up as many um, sticker flakes as I can before my new um, package arrived because I have been um, hauling a lot. And for the month of May, that was for April's challenge, and for the month of May, my challenge was to use up as much washi tape as I can. So um, that will be for another video later in the future. And yeah, these pages are left for June. However, I don't think um, I will continue writing here in June. This may be time to retire this. I have been like um, writing like little notes here and there in this one, but I might just do like brainstorming and use these for notes pages those that are left just a little bit like around six pages and then I uh, just decorated like the um, last page of the notebook to end it so like six more pages uh, I still have things that I would like to note down so maybe in the next like flip through set up for the month of July you won't be seeing um, Nia anymore this is what I named my um, journal so this is the last video uh, for now, where you will be seeing Mia, so uh, we shall thank her and uh, say goodbye and thank her for her services for the past um, five months. Next uh, notebook I have here uh, is actually a pocket, like personal pocket. I don't know the size of this, but uh, I really love these compact sizes of notebooks. However, I don't know how or what purpose uh, I use it for. So I was deciding, um, since I keep referring back to the pages of my um, journal to look for where I wrote my reactions to certain anime, because I do have an uh, anime review journal, however, I don't really write in there immediately after I watch something. So And so what I've been doing in this notebook is that I've been writing my initial reactions whenever I watch anime. So uh, this has become like uh, me trying to actively watch um, series and I will give a little flip through. I use um, a Muji gel pen for this. Uh, I don't have it out, but this is how I do it. I just write anything that comes to mind whenever I watch an anime, write down the title, and then all of my reactions, uh, like um, my notes to myself for lore, for um, keeping track of who characters are, because that is the number one thing that I get um, confuse or forget uh, after a few days after watching and then write when I finish the anime and also my final rating and then how I number these is actually based on the number of entries so so far I have written here um, this is eight now uh, I haven't written here but I've finished this so this is the seventh anime and then Noen is the eighth in this entry 
And if I uh, happen to uh, have an anime that I have so many notes of, I don't write it there, as you can see, and proceed to the next one. So it's based on my, the number of anime that I have written here and not the number of pages. So this is my companion notebook for whenever I watch and for my anime challenges here on the channel. So that's an addition to my uh, journals for the month. And lastly, we have here uh, the notebook that I'm finally moving into for the month of June. Um, my um, daily writing notebook number 22. Um, Kuni is the name of the notebook, similar to um, my name for Scaramouche. And here we have the month of May with the theme of blossoming or blossoms. This is how my monthly has turned out. I haven't finished filling this out yet, even though I have several ideas on what happened in between um, days. Even though it's the 29th today, I still can recall like because I have notes. This is my um, anime bingo challenge uh, for this notebook. If you want to see any of the reactions or like spoilers when it comes to these anime, um, I think I will be posting the video the day after this um, video comes out, which is... Um, I will be posting this May 31st for me, so June 1st for the reactions to this anime, so you can get a sneak of all of the titles that I have watched. Then um, my dad actually came home from Hong Kong um, early in the month, so I have been journaling here um, almost all of the treats that he has brought, um, uh, except this one, this is for the Archon um, washi tape that I have here from Nandemo Creative. It's a very beautiful washi tape of Venti and Mondstadt. Um, but from here, it's my dad's, um, like, what he brought home as treats for us. I tried Castello cakes, this uh, Jato chocolat, uh, dark chocolate Kit Kat. Uh, this is Odin flavored um, Calbi potato chips, which I, I wish I asked to um, get some more of this because it's a very um, delicious. The custard cream that actually uh, many ants wanted to get into the package, but luckily uh, I caught it in time. I did not paint some of the colors in here because I already kept my watercolor, so that will be for another day. Um, the most expensive um, sweet potato I ever had, which is like 17 Hong Kong dollars each, but it was super sweet, like you're eating like candy of some sort, and it's very delicious and very smooth. So at least I got to try something that is... Uh, you think it's very common to have like um, sweet potato here in the Philippines, but trying sweet potato from another country is like a, a, an experience in itself. And I also tried uh, unagi. I was supposed to make like unagi chasuke or unagi konji. Uh, unagi chasuke is actually um, Scaramouche's um, specialty in Genshin Impact his uh, specialty dish but since I am not very um, familiar with how to uh, have like tea in your rice so we just have like unagi over rice it's quite tasty next we have here is um, I just placed it here but these are all of my pulls for the month of May except one I have Bronya as my first in Hongkai Star Rail the first five star you get as a beginner um, then I won 50-50 in Silly's Banner um, and then in Baiju's banner, I also won 50-50. Um, so these are two wins. And there is another one here, uh, which is supposed to be Welt. Um, I got uh, Welt in uh, Jingyan's banner. I lost 50-50. But uh, it's fine because I'm maining Welt now <laughs> more than I am maining Seal. So that's fine. So this is like my ideas pages, uh, notes pages for the month of May uh, in preparation for June. Um, I have yet to edit this one. This has not happened yet. Um, this is what we're going to do today. Um, this is a maybe. I have finished this already, so I hope you look forward to this video. Um, I have tried to learn to knit, actually, for the month of May. However, it didn't go well, and I didn't do this, but rather I did so many projects for the month of May, which I'm going to have a video for if you're interested in more of my crochet projects. But I'm going to show... Um, oh, not yet. So this is the continuation for other snacks that my bud, my father brought from Hong Kong. This is like nori wrap seafood rice snacks, which my mother really enjoys. These are almond cookies gifted to my dad. I really love this Kit Kat, the orange chocolate Kit Kat. This is red bean paste Kit Kat. And I also did not paint this, but it's like milk pudding cakes. Very expensive, very small, but very delicious. It's weird that... Um, 
it's a very nice experience to like try out new things, especially pastries. Now that I am having like this kick of like uh, eating so much bread and pastries, so it was a good time. And then dark chocolate milk teasers. Um, I did not. Uh, I think I kept the note or like the packaging for this one on its side, wherein it wrote there one for you, two for me, and it. I think it's very hilarious, especially when you're like sharing chocolate with other people. Next we have here is my crochet projects, my yarny projects. I will talk more of this um, on the video that I have for like all of the things I've crocheted for the month of May. However, I would like to show this. This is my first swatch of my f first ever knitting. Um, this is like the knit stitch and I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't actually understand how to do it and I think this is like the, the starting point and it I think I've increased that's why it tapered off more and like my gauge is changing but as you can see um, from here I think I got around to it like hold on I really want to show this actually like I got around to doing it better around this part however casting off is so difficult for me for some reason but maybe it's because I like bought very cheap um, knitting needles so maybe that's also a factor because my knitting needles are like stainless and so it doesn't have like that drag that um, people would have wanted for their um, knitting needles and so it slides off the needles very easily but I wanted to like um, record that here so I just uh, hung it there I took it out I take it out when I write so that it doesn't have a bump here but still it's kind of funny to see but also um, inspires me to do better next time so this is the last page for the month of May in this notebook. Uh, the new things I've done and the other happenings is what I call it. It's so like uh, end of the month memory keeping. Like all of the stuff that I want to see at a glance what happened for the month. And I think I'm going to start doing this uh, moving forward. Um, do not mind the numbers. These are just for like bullet points uh, situation. But they're, they don't have significance whatsoever. Those are just the extra numbers that I have from a sticker sheet, the number sticker sheet that I have, so I just decided to like put it there. So I tried a bunch of snacks and unagi from Hong Kong. I finished a shawl scarf. Um, I will talk about it, uh, as I said, in my crochet projects video. I tried knitting. Well, at least I tried. I noted it there. Um, I did a lot of product testing. That's also for crochet. My phone actually cut me off, um, but I managed to see it before I continued talking anymore. Um, I think my last... Um, the last thing I said when uh, before it cut me off was that I, uh, my cactus flower bloomed. Uh, the cactus plant uh, that my high school friends actually gave me, uh, my high school best friends, gave me, um, I think 2015 was when they gave it to me for my birthday. And then it did not bloom for like seven years. And then last year and now this year, uh, in the month of May as well, it actually blossomed. This time, it bloomed twice, and I still have, upon recording this video, it still has one more bud waiting to blossom, and I'm very excited because three times it bloomed this year is already a major, like, um, special occasion or, like, special happening for me. Next is recorded and uploaded a villager hunt for the first time. I really, really wanted to, like, uh, try to do gaming style videos because I'm obsessed with gaming channels, especially Animal Crossing, Stardew, uh, PokeTubers. Um, all of those um, games that I enjoy myself, I want to try uh, doing it. And since I was actually looking for one of the villagers for my Animal Crossing island, uh, I wanted to try it out. It was stressful, but it was so worth it. And if you are interested in that, I will leave um, a link up in the iCards. And last here is deliver a package to my carrier. So my brother is usually the one uh, in his Shopee account that delivers the packages to the carrier. So we do drop off method. Um, for our packages in Shopee and since he is like out of town twice I delivered the packages twice there and I was very nervous at first but the people there are very like very efficient and also very nice so it, it's fun I usually do the packaging writing the thank you notes and making sure um, which package goes where um, but he is the one that does uh, product quality management as well as inventory and also dropping off the package so that's fun and so next we proceed to the actual um, content of this video, which is the portion for the month of June. Uh, I have my theme, which is actually hydrangeas, uh, rainy season. So I, so I have like at this point uh, decided not to continue with my um, overall overarching theme of the year, which is storytelling. 
and relating everything to like creating stories, creating memories and such, and decided to just go with the flow and do whatever I want because uh, at this point I can't think of anything and I wanted to use this um, sticker sheet. I've been saving um, this particular sticker sheet because I really love hydrangeas and I really wanted to um, journal or use the sticker sheet for the rainy season. Um, as of the moment, I'm not really praying for rain because um, my brother is still traveling and it's difficult um, to travel once it's raining, but it has been like pouring because of a typhoon. And um, right now it's very sunny, that's why I'm filming. But uh, I do wish for like cooler days because I really hate the heat. I really uh, dislike the heat of summer. So this is like the main stuff that I want to use for this. I also pulled out a bunch of like uh, blue, green, pinks and purples um those are the colors that i want to gravitate towards for this month also pulled out like my um mng sign me uh, markers just in case and also pulled out this very pretty like washi hydrangea stickers um there is a flower and then the leaves uh this was given to me by ali and i really love it um even though she did not realize that i really love hydrangea flowers so those are my main um stickers that i will be pulling from but I also pulled like washi tapes, other stuff, like other scraps, my hot cocoa. So yeah, I want to use this one or this one because it's perfect because it's green, purple, and blue. So yeah, uh, I will also be putting through this part because I will be putting my uh, cover here, like my cover collage for the month. But I've already um, pre-written most of my usual, which is my meal tracking, my one line a day. I will be decorating the bottom part here as well as my June master list and a page for my um, whips and FOs, my finished objects for my crocheting. And I didn't fill this out yet. I know what to fill out in here, but I didn't fill out so uh, for the sake of this video so that I could still have a, a bit of surprise even though um, my content is very monotonous at this point. So yeah, I will be muting myself and leaving you to the music. Um, and so I will see you at the end.
Now I realized how much of a mess this plan of the video is going to be. Uh, I got cut off. My tripod suddenly started leaning towards my notebook, which I didn't notice until just a little while after. Um, and then I realized I wasn't um, on frame for most of these because I didn't um, zoom out. But anyway, this is how it turned out. I did manage to like almost use up one of my most favorite washi tapes out of all that I have bought. I think I'm going to repurchase this um, sooner. Um, uh, we'll see about that. But I really, really love this washi tape design. It's one of my favorites and it's one of like my favorite colors as well. Uh, this is my cover page. Um, I did rip out the one that I have from that wedding catalog magazine, a bunch of scaramouche. And I think this is like almost all of my mains. Sort of, I don't know if putting aqua simulac right here just for a filler sort of uh, portion for the collage is going to be a bad omen or not. But I have Mary here from um, Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons now, um, the new, um, what do you call that, Friends of Mineral Town update uh, or remastered. And then Kazuha here, I also have Marius here. Um, so yeah, uh, this is messy, but I kind of like it. Um, it's fun for me. Uh, at least it's for me to look at almost every day for uh, the month of June. We have here my um, calendar. I don't know if uh, freehanding the calendar was a good idea or not. I forgot to like pencil in beforehand, so I'm just like, well, I don't have ruler here, so let's freehand this. And this is how it turned out. I put here the um, It's Not Selfish to Unwind sticker as well as Be Kind to Yourself. So for the memories page, I moved it here next to my calendar. It was supposed to be at the end of the month. However, I did have an extra page here. Um, as I said, um, it is like a hot mess of a plan with me, which is fairly normal for me anyway, but we'll, we'll get my um, calendar. I haven't filled out anything here yet. I will fill it as the like appointments and the um, dates come up, whatever the event may be. And then I have here, let us not... <laughs> It's, it's, it is what it is. Um, so I have my medicine and meal tracking as well as my one line a day. I was just going to put OLD here, but I realized that it's old. So like, let's just put an A here. And then it's OLAD, which is another weird um, um, acronym, but it's one line a day. So it, it makes sense in my brain. And then last here is my... Uh, master list as well as my whips and uh, finished objects page. I didn't add too much to this, just a little bit of hydrangeas here and there just to um, uh, tie it all up with the other uh, pages. However, I did have a cotton washi here um, previously when I set this up off camera. So this is like out of place, but still it's um, blues and greens with whites, so it's fine. So yeah, that is my pages for the month of June. I hope you enjoy this video even though it's sort of a mess. But what's new in this um, chaotic channel but um, still I had fun and I hope you did too so until my next video guys take care and bye bye